Arizona State at Sandals Royal Caribbean in Jamaica, and wow, I had an amazing time. I do have one regret though, that is not staying long enough. This is going to be a general overview of my favorite parts of this recent trip. So I visited Sandals Royal Caribbean as well as Montego Bay. I will have some in-depth reviews of these resorts, and when I get those done, I will have the links below. Sandals is an adults only, the emphasis on the adults only, because the moment I left the airport to the moment I arrived, I did not see a single kid. All-inclusive resort. Actually, it is the most inclusive all-inclusive resort. It typically includes anything from food, alcohol, yes, pretty of alcohol, pretty much any water sports, canoeing, scuba diving, up to three tanks a day if you're certified, and much more. It was an amazing time. And of course, you could hop between Royal Caribbean and Montego Bay Resort. So two different resorts you go to within minutes apart from each other. From the moment you get to the Montego Bay Airport, you have a private lounge, Sandals Lounge. You go into there and they start serving you right there. Most of the rooms come with a bus transfer, but if you're in a club level or above, you get a private BMW transfer, which I had, so that was nice. I got there, told them my name, they took me out to my BMW, and we had a chauffeur take us all the way to our resorts, so it was an amazing experience. I stayed at the Royal Caribbean Resort. The room that I stayed on was the Windsor Beachfront Walkout Club Elite Room with Patio Tranquility Soaking Tub. Yes, it's a mouthful. But it is great. This room, since it was a club level, it came with that private BMW transfer. It also came with a fully stocked bar and a beautiful beach room. And the tranquility tub was big enough for two. Comfortably. Me and my wife were able to fit in there. Not a problem. So it's not one of those little gimmicks to say, oh, it's big enough for two. I could go to some jacuzzis or some places that's big enough for two. You get in there and you're and you kind of squish like in a can of sardines. This is not the case. The dining was also amazing. There's so many places to choose from. All the food I tried was delicious. I'm the kind of person who will try new food. One big tip with this is to book your reservations the moment you get to the resort. Be sure to have a list of the restaurants you want to stay at and what days you want to stay at them so you can reserve them immediately because they book up pretty fast. For example, there's a one restaurant that we wanted to eat at and we couldn't eat there till the third night because it was already pre-booked. I mean, they had anything from Thai food to pizza, Italian, French, Asian, Caribbean cuisine, steakhouse, anything you can think of as 21 different restaurants. Or Granted, four of them are technically the same restaurant at two different resorts, but you still have a variety of choices. And out of all that, even the fancy food that you have there, that's really delicious, by the way. My favorite was a jerk chicken. Sometimes the simple things are the best. The flavor was on point. I never had authentic jerk chicken before, and their hot sauce was extremely spicy. Very good. Also, unless you're someone who prides themselves on eating hot food, stick to the mild but to me i had the hot one but i used it sparingly I mean, easily hands down my favorite food on the resort the activities I mentioned just a bit earlier there was a giant chess set there is snorkeling there is scuba diving you can use three tanks a day if you're certified beach volleyball there's always some kind of party going on somewhere in one of the resorts they different type of events shows you can think of it they have it so it made it pretty nice the atmosphere at Sandals Resorts are very unique to each location. So when you go to look to book your next Sandals vacation, I have a link down below, you'll see a list of moods that it has for that resort. And these are shockingly accurate. For example, a Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean has more of a luxury, romantic feel to the resort. And I definitely felt that. Me and my wife there enjoyed it. It was very peaceful. It was quiet. There were some things to do if you wanted to find it, but there wasn't a party going all the time. There were parts of the resort that were popping. But most of the time, it was nice, very relaxing. Our room was right there at the beachfront, so you could walk out straight to the beach. Never once was I like, oh, this place is too loud. I want it quieter. So it was very relaxing. So if you're someone who wants that kind of environment, to be relaxed, just enjoy the moment, sit in a hammock above the beach, maybe go to a quiet private island. They have one of those. Something's very special about it. And that is the resort for you, Royal Caribbean. We went during New Year's, so we were expecting a big party. And yes, they did have a party at the Royal Caribbean, but we're looking for something more. Again, it was more of that relaxed feel. If you look at the description for Royal Caribbean, it has it more of a social, upbeat place. In reality, that's exactly what it was. So we went to Montego Bay for a party, and man, it didn't disappoint at all. The moment you got on there, it was a lot more lively. There was a lot more social going on. The moment we hit the beach, there was already a hype person up there. There's always some kind of event going somewhere on the beach. It was more of a long beach, so you could walk down quite a ways. But there's always some kind of activity going on at the beach, whether it be basketball, some kind of trivia, some party games, 
there's some raft and some trampolines and some other stuff. The ocean. So you can actually play in the ocean. It was even lively in there too. There was something going on the entire time. So if you're someone who wanted to go out there and party the entire time, Montego Bay, that's the place to go. And yes, because all alcohol is included, you can make any drinks a double and get your party on even quicker. So I love that. I definitely recommend it. If you're looking for adults only all-inclusive location, Sandals is the way to go. But keep in mind what kind of vibe you're looking for will determine which resort is best for you. Again, I have a direct link below. And if you want a travel agent to help you plan out that vacation, leave me a message and I'll see you all next time.